Hi guys, I'm going to take a minute to show you how to use guided access on your iPad. Uh, if you don't know, guided access is a feature in iOS 6 that allows you to lock the iPad into just one app. Uh, so that when you turn that on, the student or user, whoever it is, can only use that one particular app. It's got some great features to it, and I'm going to walk you through how to do that today. Uh, before I do that, one thing I do want to mention. Uh, part of the setup process is you're going to have to create a password for guided access. This password is complete, completely independent of all other passwords on the device. Uh, it is different than the lock screen password. Uh, it is also different than the restrictions password if that has been enabled. Uh, it is really important that when you set the password, you do not forget it. If you forget the password to guided access, you cannot get the device out of guided access. And what this means for the user is we have to completely erase the iPad and build it all over from scratch. So, do not forget the password. Another important thing is if you're using this in a classroom setting, you want to make sure that that password stays safe and stays secure. Do not ever let the students see you enter the password do not tell the students what the password is for any reason. Uh, once that happens, the password has been compromised and uh, it's basically worthless and we have to set up a whole new password. Uh, so with those two things in mind, let me go, th go ahead and show you exactly how to turn on the guided access feature on the iPad. Alright, so now I'm going to show you how to turn on guided access. And the way that you do that, first you need to go into settings on the iPad and you're going to scroll down until you see under the general tab you're going to look for accessibility. I'm going to tap on that and then I'm going to scroll down and you're going to see guided access. So We're going to go into guided access and you've got a little toggle switch up here at the top. We're going to turn that on and then you're going to see an option to set a passcode. So We're going to tap that. It's going to ask you to enter a passcode and here's where you're going to enter the passcode just for guided access. Remember this is something you need to make sure you're not going to forget. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to make it 1111. It's going to ask me to confirm that. We'll do that. And we're all set and ready to go. To enter guided access, once it's been set up, we're going to go into the app that we want to lock. So here I'm going to go into Notability. I want to make it so that students can only use Notability. To start guided access, I'm going to triple click the home button. Click it three times. One, two, three and we're going to see this screen pop up. It's going to give us some options uh, and enable us to start guided access. So I'm going to tap the button here in the top right to start and we can see the guided access has started. So now I can work in Notability. I can go back to my notes, see some other things, uh, work just like I would normally in Notability, but if I try to exit the app I get a notification that guided access is enabled and I can triple click the home button to exit. So for a student, if they try to do that, triple click the home button, it asks for that passcode. And you cannot get out of guided access unless you have that passcode. So I'm going to turn guided access off now. Again, triple click the home button. Oops. And I'm going to tap enter my passcode, 1111. And we can now end guided access by tapping the button in the top left. One other thing to note, within guided access I can actually disable certain parts of the screen. So if I want to make the students only be able to use this one note, for example, if I circle the area I want to disable, you can see it's put a little box over that. So now if I resume guided access, the button to go back to select a different note has now been disabled. It does not work. And the students can only work in this one app in this one note actually. I can still use all of the other functions of the app. I can still draw on it. I can still type on it. I can do all of those other things. I cannot exit that note though. Again to turn that off one two three into your passcode. It's gonna take us back to the screen. I tap end and we're out of guided access.